Good evening everybody. Today we are going to learn the differences between organic and inorganic chemistry. So here organic compounds, uh, sorry, in organic and inorganic compounds. So here organic compounds and here inorganic compounds, right? Low boiling point organic compound have compounds uh, have a uh, have low boiling point on the other hand inorganic compounds have high boiling point so in case of low boiling point means low melting point and in case of inorganic compound uh, they have uh, a high melting point and number three is organic compounds uh, are low sol uh, organic compounds uh, compounds have low solubility in water but high solubility in non polar uh, solvents uh, and in case of inorganic compounds uh, they they have high solubility in water but low solubility in non polar solvents so we have to know uh, some other points to differentiate between these two compounds. Organic compounds solution are non-conductors of electricity. That is, uh, the solution of organic compound uh, doesn't carry any any <coughs> electricity. On the other hand, inorganic compounds are conductor of electricity. That is, the solution of inorganic compounds can uh, carry electron. Or electricity however and chemical reaction are usually slow in case of organic compounds chemical reaction are slow and in case of inorganic compounds chemical reaction are rapid or speedy and we we usually get covalent bond in organic compounds and we usually get ionic bond bond, bond or ionic bonding in inorganic compound Let me, well, now we're going to learn the sources of organic chemistry, right? Sources of organic chemistry, mainly, uh, sources of organic chemistry means uh, sources of organic compound. Here we have to uh, consider uh, compound instead of chemistry. What are the sources of organic compounds? Uh, here there are four uh, sources of organic compounds. The first source is coal, right? It is about 80% free carbon and source than crude oil. Uh, it's a complex mixture of organic compounds, natural gas. This is a mixture of low molecular wet organic compounds. So this is three and the number four is wood and other plant materials. The number four is wood and other plant materials. So what are, what are the importance of organic uh, what are the importance of organic uh, chemistry? well organic chemistry is important right organic chemistry is important because it is the chemistry associated with all living matter matter in both plants and animals carbohydrates fats protein vitamins hormones enzymes and many drugs are organic compounds wool silk uh, rayon uh, contain organic compounds so so do perfume perfumes dyes flavor shops detergents uh, plastics gasoline and oil thank you for viewing this video if you think that this video is helpful for you to some extent then you can subscribe this channel be well